uh, when I was at Sidley, um, we were starting to work with an organization called Kids in Need of Defense, KIND, which was the organization started by Microsoft and Angelina Jolie. We kept hoping Angelina Jolie would show up at one of the events, but she never did. But um, So we got, our lawyers were trained in how to handle SIJ cases, which is Special ju Immigrant Juvenile Status Cases. And those cases were, those cases provide immigration relief to kids 18 and under who have been um, abused or neglected in their home country. And Kind called us up and said they had a case. There was a kid who was being, kid from um, Mexico, who was being detained in an adult prison with um, adult male felons. And he was, he had, was not yet 18. He was going to be turning 18. So it was an emergency. We needed to get him adjudicated by a family law court as neglected and abused so that then we could apply for, before he turned 18, so then we could apply for the special immigrant juvenile status. So very quickly we got the papers together and we worked with the lawyers from KIND and um, went to family court and the family court judge adjudicated him neglected and abused in his home country, and it, which was Mexico, Chiapas, uh, the state of Chiapas in Mexico. So um, then we were able to convince the immigration court that he should be released from detention. Um, and when he was released from detention, the attorney who was working on that case was a partner at the firm who was very, uh, she was very stylish, very, um, very attractive, blonde hair, beautiful makeup, beautiful clothes. And she drives to pick up this kid in detention um, in her blue Mercedes. And so this kid goes from being detained with adult male felons to being picked up by this very attractive woman in her Mercedes. And, and then we had to figure out, we had no place for him to stay. So I sent out an email um, to people who were who had been doing pro bono work, and one of the partners, Kurt Jacobs, agreed that um, this young man could stay with him for at least a few days. So, um, so then this young man came to the firm, but the problem was Kurt was going to an event that night for the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty. And so he was going to take the young man with him to the event, but the young man didn't have clothes for the most part. So we sent out another email asking if anybody had a blazer or a jacket in a smaller size. We found one, one of the associates donated his blazer. And so Kurt ended up taking him to the, um, the gala for the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty, sort of bringing his own homeless person to the event. And then after that, I was able to contact people in my congregation, the Unitarian Congregation on River Road. We had a Latin American task force. And um, the woman who was the chair of that task force um, happened to be from the same um, state, uh, Chiapas in Mexico, and agreed to let the young man stay with her. And I think he stayed with her for several weeks. And then we got him housing at the Latin American um, Youth Center in, in Columbia Heights. And it was, it was an example of, you know, Hillary Clinton's book is It Takes a Village. Well, this was It Takes a Law Firm to um, provide all the needs. You know, one of the things you realize as a lawyer that um, often it's more than just providing um, a brief or, or legal analysis. It's trying to figure out how you help somebody in a more holistic way. Well, 